All right, today we're talking about uh, air, sector area and arc length. So we're going to learn to find these and calculate them. Um, the area of a sector is basically a fraction um, where we use the fact that there's 360 degrees if I go all the way around a circle. And so I want just a portion of that. So that's where this M comes from. I want M degrees. So I create this fraction um, using a central angle. So something a little more like this. Um, the sector of a circle, I take from the center, and I take two points on the edge, and that creates this angle. That's M degrees. So to find the area of that orange piece here, I would do pi r squared like normal. That gives me the whole circle. But this M over 360 gives me a frac the fractional piece that I need. So let's look at a problem right here real quick and just go ahead and get that done. So the area of a sector, so I want this section HGJ, that piece. So I want to do pi r squared like normal, but then I want the angle divided by 360 or over 360. So then this would be 12 squared pi, and then my angle is 131 over 360. Right, so I need to put that in the calculator and see what we come out with. Alright, so that comes out to be um, 52.4 pi meters squared. Um, it does say to also round it to the nearest hundredth, so I'm going to do put that in the calculator. And that comes out to be about 164.62 meters squared. Alright, so two answers there on that one. Alright, number two, I'm going to let you do that one. It's the exact same type of problem. Um, you have 36 degrees and you know your radius is 16 inches. Right? Now we're going to look at what's called a segment of a circle and that's the region bounded by an arc and its chord. So here's kind of an, here's the area of the segment, this little green piece right here. Um, the whole sector, if I were to make an angle, a central angle from the radius, that would be this piece right here. Okay, but then there's a triangle inside that. So this little piece right here that I'm looking for is really the area of the sector minus the area of the triangle. So let me show you what we're talking about. On number three, area of a segment. So I have this section right here, L and M, that's got an angle of 120 degrees. Okay, and then I have this triangle right inside that. So let's figure that out. All right, so let's start with the area of the sector first. So I know I have 9 squared pi times 120 over 360. Okay, putting that in the calculator. Gives me 27 pi. Alright, so now i got to find the area of the triangle. To do that, I need to draw the height. I'm going to do it this way. Now, because this is 120, um, this gets split in half, and this becomes 60, so this angle right here is 30. So this part, my height is 4.5. I need the area is 1 half base times height. So I know that um, my height then is going to be 4.5. I can write. Um, this part right here, since this is 4.5, it's going to be 4.5 square roots of 3. This is 4.5 square roots of 3. So the entire length is actually going to be 9 square roots of 3. All right. So putting that into the calculator, this simplifies to 20.25 square roots of 3. So area of this segment, this gray area, is going to be 27 pi minus 20.25 square roots of 3. And let's see, in the calculator, that comes out to be this will round to about 49.75 uh, centimeters squared. All right, number four, I'm going to leave that one up to you. It's the same thing. I want you to practice this stuff, make sure you understand it. Um, we're going to look at um, the area of a sector. That's a fraction of the area of the circle. Um, the length of an arc is a fraction of the circumference. So really I just want the length of this part of the curve. 
So if I go all the way around that circumference, I just want a piece of that circumference. So we're going to do the same thing. We take the angle over 360, and then we times that with the circumference formula. So on number 5, um, we have this arc FG that's 134 degrees. Now, this radius is drawn over off to the side, but there's no reason why I can't go from E to F and say that that's um, 8 centimeters. So it's going to be 2 times 8 pi for my circumference. Then my angle is going to be 134 over 360. All right, multiplying this out in fraction form, I get 268 over 45 pi. Now, if I put that in the calculator, round to the nearest hundredth, like it says, that's going to be about 18.71 centimeters. That would be the length from here, from F to G. All right, this last one I'm going to leave up to you. It's the same thing. You're just dealing with circumference. On this particular one, you just want from G, the length from G to H.